Let's try iterating through a vector. If you Google it, you're going to see many different ways. One of the more common ways that you're going to see, let's say we have some sort of an enemy container class, and we're going to have the vector, std vector, some sort of an enemy container. I'm going to call it a vector of enemies. I'm also going to have the enemy class. For simplicity, let me make everything public just for this video. Enemy is going to have some sort of an index. Let me also make this public. And the vector is going to have a bunch of enemies inside it. I'm going to create a function, get enemies. Now, this is where we iterate. I'm going to use this syntax for every enemy inside the vector of any enemies. I'm going to say stdc out enemy. And I'm going to call the index of the enemy index. I'm also going to create a bunch of enemies by default. Make sure you check out video number 13, 14, 15, the previous videos. I'm going to create a bunch of enemies, E0. E0, E1, E2, and then for the vector, I'm going to put them in, E0, E1, E2. Now for the main, I'm going to say create the enemy container, and I'm going to say iterate through the enemies get enemies. And if I press F5, okay, here's the result. I forgot to set the index numbers. E0 index equals 0. E1, E2 index 1, 2. F5 again. Okay, we get enemy 0, 1, and 2. So we can now iterate through the entire container, get ed every enemy that is inside it. We're also going to get the same result if you use a for loop. You go through every item in the enemy, in the vector of enemies, and then get the index. And I'm going to do the same thing. We get the enemy, get the index, and the line. Now if I press F5, okay, we get the same result for both of these processes. Now let me show you something really important. Let's say you're going to get a pointer to the enemy. We're going to have a function called get enemy, and you're looking for a a certain index and you're going to iterate through all of the enemies you iterate through all of them and if the enemy index has the same index as your target index we're going to return the address of the enemy if nothing matches, we're going to return null. A null pointer just means that the pointer is not pointing to anything. And if you're wondering why we're returning an address for a pointer, make sure you check out video number 17. The values that you see inside a pointer is going to be an address. Essentially, a pointer is an address. Anyways, just make sure you check out the previous videos. And for our main, I'm going to try getting an enemy. Let's try getting the enemy number two, and we're going to put it inside the pointer. And I'm going to say stdc out enemy number two, and get the index. I'm going to press F5, 
and we get a funny result. We specifically looked for an enemy number two, but then when we see out the index, we get a zero. Let's try debugging this. I'm gonna set a breakpoint right here where we return the enemy, run the debugger. And for our watch window, I'm gonna look at the address of E. And here we get the index number two. So what are we doing wrong? Well, let's also get the address of the vector, a specific item in the vector, which is index number two. And you're gonna notice that the addresses are different. This is happening because the enemy inside this function only exists within the scope of the function. It's a copy of the enemy. It's not the actual enemy inside the vector. If you're confused, make sure you understand video number 13. For example, if you have some function that takes in the enemy as an argument, this enemy is a copy of the enemy, not the actual enemy that you pass in to the function. So if we try to draw this, you have the actual enemy inside the vector, E0, and then you have E1 and E2. You have a function that creates a copy of the enemies. In this case, you're returning enemy number two. Here's a copy of enemy two. And what you're doing is getting a pointer to the copy. This is a serious mistake because when this function finishes running, this enemy is gone, but you're still pointing to the, to the address. This is the actual enemy that you're looking for. Remember the object life cycle in video number 15? So the enemies inside this function only exist within it. Once you're outside of function, all the memory that used to contain that enemy data are freed. So now we're pointing to an address, this address, which is free for any other process to use. Sometimes you still might get the index number two by random chance that the value doesn't get changed. Let's do some debugging again. I'm gonna run the debugger. I put a breakpoint here. Continue. And I'm gonna look at PTR, the pointer. I'm also gonna look at the address of the vector of enemy number two. So this is the actual enemy that you're looking for, but the pointer is pointing some other address that used to contain a copy of the enemy. Let's try a different way. I'm gonna say for int, we iterate through vector of enemies and this time we actually look at the vector and whatever the index is we get the number if it matches the target index then we return the address of the vector or the address of the the item in the vector okay I'm gonna put a same breakpoint here, run the debugger. Now the pointer is pointing to the same address of the actual enemy that we're looking for, which is inside the vector. So the difference is, are we pointing to a copy that doesn't exist anymore, or are we pointing to the actual vector? If we look at the code again, here we're returning the address of the copy, and later that memory is going to be freed once we're outside the function. But here, we're returning the address of the vector. And the key takeaway here is that it's essential that you understand what it means to return an address, and also to get into the habit of debugging and understand what's going on, because you can pretty much point to any address. The question is, is the object that you're looking for, is it still going to be there? For your homework, try doing this yourself, debug it, and understand and see with your own eyes what it means to return an address. And if you're not careful, the value inside that address might already be changed. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you have any questions, you can reach me on my Discord server. I have all the links below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.